Dwyer here if you don't already know me and we're going to continue with our series of rings to make and sell. So I'm going to just go ahead and flip my screen and I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the rings that we've been working on and I did some sketches for some other rings as well. So let's flip the screen. Turn it around. There we go. There's our snow outside in Montreal. We're just going to bring this one down. So this is the ring tray with sort of a sampling of the rings that we used to sell on the street in the 90s. So I wanted to show you guys those and uh, pull up the live stream so we can see it. Just mute it. And if you're hopping on, say hello. Hi, Clarice. You're the first one on. Nice. And I'm just going to turn the sound off here. Perfect. So now I can see what I'm doing. So here's the rings from the ring tray. And then this week I did a tutorial for this one. Ashley had asked me for that one. So we did that one. And um, after, uh, other than that, I also did this one on the Tip Tuesday. This is made with that solder wire. So I thought I'd show you guys that wire up close. It's pretty funky. So here's the uh, wires from the hardware store. It's lead-free solder and it's super fun for making the rings. So that's the this week's Tip Tuesday is how to use this chunky wire, super chunky. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi Doris, nice to see you. And yeah, so these are some rings uh, from, they're like 30 years old, we don't sell rings anymore. Uh, so I thought I'd just re revisit the designs and teach you guys how to make some of these. So I've done a few, um, I think I did the bunny last week, I did an elephant, I did a bunch of ones, and then you guys had some special requests. So I'm gonna remove the tray, and these are the sketches I've been working on for the special requests. Um, so we have some more people hopping on. Hi, Avelia. Hi, Jackie. And hi, Amber and Linda. Very nice. So we, these are some sketches. I made sort of a list of the ones that people had been asking for. Uh, I've already done the cross, the airplane. I did the feather. Uh, I do have a tutorial for the dog paw, so I won't redo that one. And I thought maybe I was going to work on the pineapple. That was, who asked for the pineapple? That was Jessica asked for the pineapple. And let me see who's uh, hopping on now. Pamela, hi Pamela, hi Latifa, hi Samantha, hi Ruth. Wow, Kathy as well. Hi Kathy, hi Rosa, and hi Rita. Everybody is hopping on today. So let's get the tools and let's just get started, guys. Hi Corey. So these are my Zeron pliers. I'm going to use these and my cutters. And we've got all these. If I lose my voice a little bit, um, my voice is a little off today, so I'll just hopefully won't lose it. And I'm going to just take lots of water, big sips of water. It's this cold uh, weather, eh? It makes your throat really dry. Hi, Joan. Hi, Christine. Nice. So, yeah, so let's get started. Why don't we just start with the, um, with the pineapple, because I think that's super cute. So I thought I'd use a gold wire while well, it's bare brass, but it looks like yellow wire. So let's use that. I'm gonna bring this one over. And as always, if I miss any of your comments, and if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask again. That's awesome, thank you. And Amber, uh, if you guys are wondering, Tree Sap Girl, that's Amber, and Amber's helping me uh, moderate the chat today. Mustafa won't be here. Uh, Clarice is here as well, she helps out as well, and she helps a lot in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. Uh, Mustafa has a test tomorrow, so I don't think he's going to be coming. Hi, Messy Gypsy. Hi, Jeanette. And uh, yeah, if I missed you, if you I missed your comments, just say hello. So let's grab some wire and let's try the um, the pineapple. I thought it would be fun to do two tones, although it might be tricky getting the two colors of wire. So you know what I might do for the one with the squiggles is I'll do the outline all in green. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to attach a separate wire and then we're going to put the yellow inside. So let's just try that. Let's just cut a piece of the 20 gauge wire and cool templates. Yes. So I will eventually make proper templates of these designs uh, so you guys can trace them. Right now they're just in the prototype st um, stage. So, but I will eventually make some templates for those. So let's, let me just get a marker so we could do the round form. Here we go. And Chris, hello, love your designs. Thank you. Oh, yay. I'm so happy you like the videos. And hi, Danielle. Hi, Laura. Wow, lots of people hopping on today. A star be hard to make. I've actually done some stars. So any of the ones that you guys asked for that I've already done, I'll link it. I'll link them up in the um, description below. Or you can search my channel 
uh, for stars, you know, because they're they're definitely, if you search my channel, a lot of these designs I've done before. So you can definitely use the search bar and find some of the designs. So let's just start with the, making the pineapple. I don't want to make it too small either, or it's going to be a little uh, a little tricky uh, to do the details. So hi, Peggy. And there we go. B, yes. B is on the list for sure. Awesome. And Linda. I don't know if I said hi to Linda. Sometimes there's more than one Linda. And hi, Sandy. Nice. Hello. Oops. Let's get the round pliers. Uh, you're, you're very welcome. So let's just do this. We're going to bring this one up here. And we want to make the, um, how do you say, the leaves. So let's just try to, I'm going to just bend this one a bit. I'm just going to play around with this because I'm not exactly sure the best way to do it. And let's just bend the wire back. And yeah, bend this back here. And as always, these don't have to be perfect because, um, yeah, see, I'm already seeing I'm going to run out of wire here, I think. But uh, let's just see what we can do. If I just bring this one up here, I'll just do it as much as I can until I run out of the wire. Uh, sometimes when I'm working on these, I might miss your comments, but I'll try to come back to them as well. So let's just kind of bend this back and forth to do uh, kind of um, the pineapple thing. I think we're going to have to use the other side too because this wire is, I'm running out of wire. So let's just bring this one up and up. Hi, Rita. Double hearts would be pretty too. I don't know if I've done a double heart ring. I've definitely done heart rings. Um, I don't know if I've done double hearts. It's possible, but you never know. Like turning off the phone, kicking myself out of chat. Oh no, oopsies. That happens. So let's just keep going around here and get these ones going. This looks kind of funky. Uh, the trick, of course, is always to figure out how to actually finish the edges. So we're going to see. Hi, Andrea, a newbie. Yay, Atlanta, Georgia. Cool. I've been to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta many years ago when my dad was uh, working as an engineer and he went to conferences in Atlanta and we stayed in a hotel downtown Atlanta. And uh, yeah, I have fond memories of that. That was really fun. So now I've just done these like little things here. Uh, but what I want to figure out is how I'm going to actually put these together in a way that we don't have loose ends. This is the this is the fun part is trying to what I'm thinking I might do is just take this and take this and just wind it around. Maybe that's going to be the easiest way just to finish just to finish the end. I'm just going to make it super simple. So Oh, thank you, uh, Clarice. So Clarice has uh, shared the links to the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. So if you're not already a member, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook and to share pictures of your work and to get to know other wire art and jewelry makers. Um, just be sure when you join the group to answer all the uh, entry questions so we know a little bit about you and that you follow the rules. And it's a group where there's uh, like no selling. So that's our big, our big, uh, thing in the group. It's just a for people of all levels to share their work and get inspired. So here's a funny looking um, pineapple. It got a little warped out there, but let's try to fix it up a little bit. Okay. And come back. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. So let's just try to round these out a little bit more because they got a little bit pushed out of place but that's not too bad I mean it's kind of funky I like it so let's let's do some details with the yellow wire so this is just a yellow um what do I call it yellow brass bare yellow brass that's what it's called so let's take this one and we're just going to do some little loop-de-loops on there I should have maybe made that a little bit bigger but that's okay so we're just going to take this as a symbol of warmth and hospitality. How interesting. I did not know that. There you go. So we learn something new every day. So now we're just going to kind of do some little loops here to do the pineapple. I'm, I have a feeling I should have made the pineapple a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We're just going to go across like this and do a few rows, a few little loops. Bring this one around here. A few little loops and this is just to fill in the space and have it look a little bit more like a pineapple. So we're going to bring this one here. 
I should have probably used a slightly thinner wire. This wire is a little bit stiff. It's the, um, it's actually a uh, um, 20 gauge wire, so it's a little bit thick. The link is broken, Sandy. Ooh, what is that for? Is that for the, for the wire makers club? I'm not sure. So, uh, you uh, let me know in the comments what you mean and. Uh, and then I can let you know because if you if you just search um, uh, Facebook for the Wire Makers Club, you can find it too. So now we're just going to get these ones in here. I'm just going to wind this one in here. Okay, we're going to wind this one around. Uh, whoops! Pull this. Let's pull it around. And whoops! Try to tighten it up a little bit. It's a little loose. And then bring that one over here. And then this one, we're just going to pull this one here, put it through a couple of times. There we go. Works for me too. Okay, so the link works. That's good. Um, yeah, it should, it should work. And I always put all the links to everything in the description of my videos. So you guys can always find like all the links to the Wire Makers Club and all that. The only link that has changed is I've stopped using Discord. I'm trying a new app called Slack. And I know some people have had a little bit of difficulty with it. But really, the only reason I'm using Slack is just so during the live streams, the Let's Get Wired live streams, people can share their work. So that's the purpose of that app, but it's definitely not like necessary that you join uh, Slack. It's just for fun during the live streams for the Let's Get Wired live streams that we can um, share pictures of work. So now these loops are getting a little bit big, so I have to tighten them up a little bit more. And you're using 20 gauge. Okay, cool. 20 is my is my go-to gauge. 20 gauge is really my standard gauge I always go to. But I'm finding with the detail here, I probably should have used a thinner wire because this is really, um, it's a little too thick. But that's okay. We're just going to do what we can with this. I'm going to just do one more little set of two and then we should be and then we should be good. I, I don't know why I use this. I do probably even have thinner yellow wire, but I just grabbed this one. I thought, it, I mean, it's cute, it looks good, but um, I probably should have grabbed a, a thinner wire because this one's a little bit, a little bit too thick. You could even do this with just regular gold color. It doesn't have to be yellow gold. It can be um, any color you want, really, so that we're just gonna go around here and now we're going to put this one across here and then we're just going to finish it off. So let's just bring this one here and bring it around through here. This is very stiff stuff. So there we're going to go through here and just pull that one pretty snug. And then, whoops, those aren't my cutters. And then we're going to clip it here. Perfect. I have to just bend it back and forth. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for getting the templates and books from the uh, from the Etsy shop. Yes, I do have a DIY shop on Etsy where you can download a lot of the templates, and uh, they're not expensive. I usually charge one or two dollars for a, for the templates. They're they're just so you guys can, if you have trouble with proportions and shapes, that you can download the templates there. And I have a few. Um, I have a few uh, like little ebooks and things like that. So, so that's a work in progress is the selling the uh, templates and some private tutorials. So that that's fun. I'm always experimenting with different things. So now let's just do a couple of loops here. This is getting really tight. Oh my goodness, this is so tight here. It's it's a bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. This one's maybe we can pull it a little bit more. I really should have used a thinner wire. But what can you do? So we're just going to bend this one in here. And now we're going to get a bend. Uh, this is my first time making a ring with 20 gauge. Usually it's 24. Ooh, so 24 is very thin. Do you do uh, like weaving for the ring? I'm just curious because that's a very, very thin uh, gauge of wire. So now we're just going to, yeah, see this end is not very big. So I'm just going to like pretend like I looped it around. And now for the band, let's just bring this one up again. For the band, we can just do a 
little band on either side. So usually for the bands, what I do is I just get the uh, 18 gauge wire. Templates don't open for me. Okay, well, let me know if you can't open the templates and I can email them to you. If you have trouble opening them, uh, they on Etsy, they should automatically uh, send, you a, uh, send you the template and you should be able to open them. But if you have trouble, uh, let me know and I can email them to you. So, um, and then my email is info at heatherboydwire.com. So if ever you have any questions or any trouble with the templates, just let me know. So now we're just going to, this is my like favorite way to make rings, is just take an 18 gauge um, wire and then we're just going to put them on either side here. So now the thing is we want to move this down a bit so we can access that. So let's just get this one in here and then this one on this side and then that would be the idea. You would just put one on either side and then we're going to bend it over. So we're going to take this one, bend it over. I'll probably have to remake this one but <laughs> because it's really it's really wonky with this wire but that's okay. So now we're going to go here I pretend to do things all the time. <laughs> there we go. My parents are letting me get stuff to make wire rings. Nice. Awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's such a great uh, hobby. And, uh, you know, a lot of people use it to have do wire jewelry for their business. And it's just, it's just so much fun. I've been making wire art and jewelry for... Um, 30 years and I'm still not tired of it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the medium. So now let's just put these ones in a little bit. And then that will be the first ring. This is our warm up, okay? This is just our warm up because it's a little bit wonky, but that's the idea for the ring. So that's not too bad. Our little um, pineapple ring. And then we can try another one after that. Uh, let me just see what I want to do. We can do it that way. I mean, that's pretty well it. This, I mean, I have, I did some other ones like you could do a crisscross wire or like that. Why don't we just do the one uh, pineapple for today? Because uh, I want to try some, I actually wanted to try this little monkey because he's so cute. This is how I used to do monkeys when I did monkey earrings. And I want to do a giraffe too. So this would be just like a very simple monkey that maybe we can do with beads. So let's see what we can do for that. Uh, there is great tutorial. Thank you so much. So now let's see what we can do for a monkey. So here are some beads, my favorite beads. So maybe we could even get the hematite or something and we could do a little hematite head. Might be cute. We can try that. Let's try that. And then we're going to need some wire. So I'm going to just... I had ordered this wire just out of curiosity. It's the Benecrete wire. Let me know if you've ever used this wire. I just wanted to compare them, but I find it really soft. So, oh, the Zodiac rings. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, the Zodiac rings are really fun. And um, I did a whole series of Zodiac live streams, which was before Christmas, which was super fun too. I really, uh, I really enjoyed that. So now, why don't we go ahead and just take this bead and put it on here and see how we're going to do the monkey this this is where we just like start to experiment and i'm not really exactly sure what i'm doing here but that's okay so if we just bring this one around here and bring this one down and then we need to do like some little feet this wire is very very soft so i'm not sure how well this is gonna how well this is gonna go so i found the medium last year and I make many other crafts too. Cool. Awesome. That's fantastic, Kathy. So now let's just go ahead and bring this one down for one of the feet. And I'm going to just go back on itself because I, I don't want to have too many loose ends. Uh, so I'm just going to bring this one up here and around here. I mean, this might've been better if you just didn't do uh if you didn't, if you did like little separate wires, oh, this is maybe not going to look so good. The wire is very, very soft. So we can just see, I'm just kind of going back and forth and seeing what I can do here. If we bring this one around 
and then you'd have like like the tail type of thing so and let me just do up here so if we did like a maybe a head thing we're gonna see I think this is gonna look dreadful but that's okay we I, I don't mind to try it so we're gonna go around here and hi Pat there we go so what is your most popular ring well I, the the most popular video is the rings to make and sell um, uh, video, which is just the classic ring with the uh, made with an 18 gauge wire and a 22 gauge wire, I guess it is, and it's just a very basic ring with one one little um, bead in it. And but the other ring that uh, is quite popular is the uh, moon ring. People really like the moon ring, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the moon rings are fun. Some people have trouble with the moon rings. Let me know in the comments if you've made the moon ring uh, because I know a lot of people do have trouble with that one um, just to get the shape, I guess. But the moon ring is fun. Yeah, very fun. So let's just bring this one up here. Uh, arms up for the monkey. I sh probably should have done some little ears or something. That would have been cute to do little ears at the top, but I think it's a little bit late now. But yeah, if I could, if I had done a couple of little loops up there, that would have been super cute. But now, like, so it doesn't come apart. I think the best thing would be just to loop this around here, and then I can come back and then loop it around here again, just so it holds together. Otherwise, it might come apart. So, RC, love your videos. You make it look so easy. Okay, mine never turned out as beautiful. Oh, well, it's just, just practice. Honestly, it's uh, that's all it takes is a lot of practice. And um, I certainly scrap my fair share of, uh, of designs. Yeah, definitely, uh, it's not... It's not always easy, you know, sometimes we have an idea in our head of what we want to create and it doesn't quite turn out that way. So this is kind of cool, the little monkey. So it's not far off from my drawing, which is pretty good. And then maybe we're going to do like a little, a little tail thing here. And if we cut it, I'm just trying to think of how we're going to attach the band. But I think if we, I mean, the tail could actually become the band. You could do that too. Juliet says, looks amazing. Thank you. Kathy says, he's cute. He's very cute. Well, you're going to have to see if we can actually get him to become a ring. So we're going to check that out and see. So we're just going to, I'm just going to like do a bit of a spiral for the tails. I think it would have been really, really cute if he had had um, ears, but that's okay. So here's the, here's the little arms up. I might do another one after the live stream and do some ears, but these are just prototypes. So that's the fun thing. So there he is. But then to do the um, the ring, wow, he's a little bit big, but that's okay. So let me get some some ring um, uh, ring wire, some 18 gauge wire, there, and give it a little clip. And then I'll try to tackle some of the other ones on the list because there's quite a few on the list there. So now we're just going to pull this one here. Let's bring it around the ring mandrel. Uh, love the moon ring, says Sandy. My granddaughter's name is Luna. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Very nice. So let's take this one here. And what if we just, whoops, there goes that. We're just going to bend this one up. And say we did like the monkey here. Say we put like one here and then one down here. I should have brought it here. Maybe we could do it this way. We're gonna go like that. Put this one up here. I'm gonna bring this one around a little bit. Okay. Uh, random bobble. <laughs> there we go. So let's just bring this one up here around here. Yeah, I really wish I had done ears on this guy, but that's okay. Next time. So now we're just going to bring this one down and clip it. My heat's just come on in my house and it's a little bit warm. I might take my sweater off. So we're just going to do that one. And then we want to bring it down here. So let's just put it back on the ring mandrel. And then we can just like it goes around like this. So we attach it at the neck and then down here at the top of the legs. So we're just gonna bring this one around here. Well, there goes my phone, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> it's okay, they can leave a message. So now we're gonna bring this one down here. 
and give it a little clip there and push that one in a little bit just like that so now it's attached it's quite cute actually i think if we made it a little smaller it might be good but it's not too bad oh mustafa you're here i thought you were studying for your test there we go uh would look awesome on it on a necklace with uh, a necklace with chains for each arm that would be cute too that would be adorable i like that idea with the chains yeah i think next time i'm gonna do i'm gonna do um ears but there, here's the monkey it's kind of it's kind of funny i like it very cute so there we go so that's um i'm in india and it's midnight oh at, at a beach eat okay very nice yes midnight and yeah i'm not i'm not surprised it's midnight by now it would make a great pendant yeah exactly when I used to make earrings with monkeys, I actually did, this was the design I used to do, and then I would hang it from the tail. So those those were really cute too. So let's do a giraffe, because I don't think I've done the giraffe yet. So let me just take this, and I also have to find out where I put the pineapple now, because I don't want to lose things. So for the giraffe, why don't we just get some gold? We'll just get some gold wire. You could do it with beads as well. But I am just going to do it with gold wire, I think. So let's get some of the gold wire. Uh, Pamela says, very cute, thank you. For the cute monkey, I'm going to make a pendant. Awesome, definitely do the pendant. I think a pendant would be super cute. And I'm gonna make them with ears uh, later. And then I'll post pictures in the, um, in the community section so you guys can see as well. So now, if we're gonna do this little giraffe, I've definitely done like brooches and bookmarks and earrings like the giraffe. They're really cute. And um, I'm actually going to get my smaller pliers. These are my preferred pliers. I don't like to use them on the videos because people can't buy these. Like there's no, I haven't found a place where people can purchase these. These are my favorite tools I bought 30 years ago. And they're actually from a fishing department. So if anybody finds a source for these pliers, they're called Cresta. I'm not sure they make them anymore, but they're very, very fine-tipped uh, round pliers, and I use them for the detail. Uh, I could make a frog. Yes, frog would be super cute too. Yeah, no, frogs are adorable. And um, I used to do a frog. It was, it's funny, I don't do th these designs so much anymore, but the frog I used to do, let's see if my mind has a memory, because the frog I used to do was something like, this oh boy I don't know if I'm going to remember how I did it. it was something like this and then there were like um the toes I guess and then it was like something like this mm. also did a lizard like this oh gosh this is a terrible drawing and then like it was sort of like this and then the feet and then like this and then so like I did an earring so it was like that and then something like and then finish it like that. So that was my frog. That's pretty good for considering I haven't made one in a long time, but that was like the design for the frog. So that was super cute. My mom used to be obsessed with frogs. Oh, cool. And the owls are cute too. Yeah, yeah, definitely want to do some owls. Uh, we could be on here for hours, but I'll just do a few today and then I'll keep I'll keep doing them. I'll, I'll probably do another live stream next week for the rings. Maybe, what, why don't we do rings? for the whole month of January. I think that would be a good idea. Thanks, Clarice, for uh, sharing. That's the Wire Makers Club in Facebook. So you can definitely join the Wire Makers Club. And I always post pictures of the um, of the creations from the live stream in, in the Wire Makers Club after the live stream as well. So there we go. So hi, Glenda. There we go. And so now let's do our giraffe okay so we're gonna bring this one around and bring this one down here and then we're gonna do like a little circle for the just to represent the dots down here and maybe another one just a little one I don't want to make it too big can't miss my favorite person's live stream. Aw, thank you, Mustafa. Well, don't stay up too late, though, because you have a test tomorrow, but I really appreciate you hopping in for sure. So now let's just do the foot here, and then we're going to go across. 
It's going to be very stylized, very simple. And then down the other one here, make sure my hands are still under the uh, camera because the uh, it's very bright out. So I, I can't really see very well. Oh, I forgot. I usually do a little, I sh should have done a little loop there for the, um, for the dot, but I don't know if that's going to, here, I'm going to try it. Hopefully it's not going to break the wire, but I forgot I usually put a little dot in there. So let's just open this up a little bit. Hopefully it won't snap the wire. Sometimes when you make a mistake, you can fix it. So it's going to bring this one around here because I wanted to do like a little spot on the belly of the giraffe. So there we go. That's not too bad. So let's just see if I can recoup this and bring this one up, straight up. There we go. Oh yeah, you, you love rings, Mustafa. Yeah, maybe we could do rings for all of February also then, yeah. Well, definitely for January. I think we could definitely have enough uh, ring designs that we could do for the whole month of January. And then February, we're gonna, we're gonna see. And I'm also due to do, do another 10 day challenge. So, uh, so that's coming up soon, probably in February or March. And, um, and then also we have, let's get uh, the uh, live wires for the wind season two, which will be coming up towards the summer. So that's exciting. If any of you want to participate in live wires for the win, uh, last year the winner was Tim and we had some amazing participation in that. Uh, it's like sort of a weekly competition thing. Um, and it was really, really super fun. I was really happy with how things turned out. And uh, that was sponsored by Beadlon, so that was cool. That was that was really fun. We'll do that again, maybe towards the summer. So now let's just do this and bring this one around. Perfect. And now we're going to just bring this one over here. Oops, if I could bend that over a little bit. So there's our, sorry guys, if I'm not showing you what I'm doing. So this is our giraffe, and then we want to just bring this one around. I just mastered using chopsticks. Cool. That's fun. So now we're going to bring this one around here and Pam says cute giraffe. Thank you. So let's, re we're just going to wind this one around a few times because this will be like the little, the little thing at the top there, the little, what do you call it, a little horn thing. And then we're going to clip this one and push that one in. And then we want to make a loop out of that. So what I will do for that, cut this to about three eighths to half an inch. I've not made a ring yet. I just bought a sizer. Cool. That's fun. Yeah, you're going to have fun with the rings. Rings are fun. So now we're going to my request for the group. Okay, perfect. So Christine, I'll check that after... Um, after the live stream to see who's uh, joined the Wire Makers Club. A lot of you are already members. So now there is, oh, it's really cute. So there's our giraffe, super sweet. And then we have to make the ring. So now we need the 18 gauge wire. So uh, we're just gonna cut this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this one and just clip this one here. Perfect. And now we're going to go around the ring cone, just around here, and just bring this one around here. So I don't want it too big. Let's just bring it around up here. Perfect. What size wire do you recommend for the ring making? So what, what I'm doing now is I'm making the bands with 18 gauge wire, and then I'm making the middle part with 20 gauge wire. So it really depends on your um, design. But that's, this is one of my favorite ways to make rings is just uh, doing the middle part with the thinner wire and then the band with the 18 gauge wire. So, so they're good. Those are two good standard sizes to have for ring making. So now we're just going to put this one here and here and then bring this one straight up. Uh, oh, thanks Mustafa. So Mustafa's just added a um, playlist of all the ring tutorials. So that's great. That's useful. Yeah, yeah, the giraffe could be another pendant for, uh, as well. So Rad Creative Art, hello, hello. So now we're going to put this one over here, and we're just going to put one of these to one side and then one to the other here. Bring this one in here. 
And then we want to pull the ends around. So now, keep discussion on wire and jewelry make. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks, uh, Amber. So just just be sure, guys, in the chat that we keep on the subject of wire art and jewelry making. That's uh, that's why we're here to learn from each other. And um, if you guys have any questions about uh, wire art and jewelry making, uh, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And if I can't answer it, I'm sure there's other people here that can answer your questions as well. So now, maybe what I'll do is I'm actually going to put this one in the tail. I think that's going to be good. So we're just going to stick that one in the tail there. And then now we're just going to bring this one around here. So we're going to just do that. And then we are going to clip this one. So we're just going to bring this one around here and then clip the end. So we're just going to clip that one here. There it goes flying. Giraffe is cute. It's so cute so far. Thank you. Yeah, the giraffe is adorable. It's really sweet. My mom's favorite animal is giraffes. So uh, I'm, I often give her gir giraffe gifts or she has some of my giraffe earrings for sure. And so now let's just clip this one too. We're going to pull that one a little bit more. We're going to tag that one and then we're going to give it a little clip in there. Clip it. And then so adorable says Andrea. Thank you. Yeah, the giraffe is cute. It's and this for sure would make super cute earrings or um or pendants as well. So there we go. So now we're going to bring this one here. And there is our giraffe ring. A little a little wobbly. Uh you can always maybe put the put the band further down. Yeah, this is it's going it's getting a little wobbly. So maybe what we can do is just put the band below that dot. Let's see if that makes a difference. So we're just going to take this one, open it up a little bit. Let's see, make sure it's not going to snap. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to just bring it to the other side. I don't know if that's going to be any better. Or you could stick it right in the dot, actually. If you, actually, if that might be better. If you just stick it in the, in the spot, so let's bring that one here, put it up through the spot. That might be better. And then bring it around. So we're just going to bring that. Yeah, I think that's going to hold in place better if we put it actually in that spot. So there we go. So that's going to hold better. We just put it right in the spot. Uh, put the band in the dot. <laughs> there we go. I, I just saw your, I just saw your, um, Comment, Joan. Yes, definitely uh, works better that way. So yeah, so there's the little giraffe, super cute. So now we've we've had uh, three rings done so far. We have the pineapple, which I will re uh, redo with I think thinner wire. We have the monkey, and then we have the giraffe. So let's do another one. Let's bring these ones back and see what we're going to do next. And oh, actually, this one was cute too. I want to try one like that, which is the birds on the wire. I'm just going to grab a sip of water. So let me try those ones. And then, I mean, there's so many. There's so many that we could do. Um, oh, the, the guitar is cute too. Let's do the guitar one too. So, okay. So now, um, adorable. Thank you, guys. And the bee is beautiful, says, says um, Ayla. Yes, the bee is cute too. I definitely want to do the bee. But uh, we'll see how many we can get to, done today. So I'm going to try the birds on the wire. Maybe I'll use a thinner wire for that. I'll just use the 20 gauge. This wire is going to be really soft. But just to, just to get an idea of the design. And it's crackling here too. Uh, does it, what does that mean for it's crackling? Oh, the microphone. Heather, I think your microphone is too close. Okay, so let me know, guys, if I'm too close. I think I am have the same setup that I usually do, but, uh, but that's okay. Let me know if I'm too close to the mic and see. Uh, Miss the beginning, did she do the cupcakes? No, I haven't done the cupcakes. I have the sketch, but I haven't done the cupcake. But, uh, yeah, definitely want to try those, too. We could be here all night. So I'm going to just try the bird on the wire because I just thought that was a cute idea. So why don't we just take this. We're going to bend that here. 
We might not be able to make it very small. And I'm gonna get the round pliers and bring that one up and around. Okay, might end up being a little bit big, but that's okay. So we're just gonna bring that one around here and there. And if you want the beak more uh, pointy, the other thing that you can do is like just kind of rotate it. Let's see if that's gonna work. So we take that and then we're just gonna rotate it a bit that way. This wire is very soft. And then you can just go that way with it. Let's see what, what it's going to do. Bring that one down here. And then this one I've done much, I've done the birds much bigger than this. Uh, I've never really done them this small. I've done them bigger as a sun catcher, but I've never done them this small, but they're, they're kind of, I thought it might be kind of cute. So now we just got to do the tail. So we're going to bring the tail down and up and that way. And then what I've done for this is I've just like wind it around the tail here. So, um, don't hear crackling. It just keeps buffering. Oh, okay. That's strange. Hmm. Interesting. Technology, eh? That's, that's the trouble with technology. It's not always that reliable. So here's, here's the, the bird, uh, one side, and then we're going to bend this one over here. And then I wanted to do another bird. So I, hopefully my, I have enough wire for that. And I'm going to get the round pliers here and just bring this one up. We're going to make it a little bit smaller up here. Hopefully it's not too small up here and then down. It's going to be tiny. And then we're going to bring this one to the front and bend this one that way. Okay, and then we're going to form the head of this bird. So these are very stylized, but they're cute. So we're going to bring this one up here and around. And then this one up. Oh, it's a little wobbly. So here's, I can remove this now. So uh, I've got to go to work. Awesome. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, crackling a little bit. Hmm, okay, very strange. So now we're gonna just do the body of the bird a little bit, that away, and then this one, and then we wanna do the tail. This is like a little mommy bird and a baby bird. So we're gonna bring that one this way, and then down, and up that way. So now we wanna wind these together. I don't know if this is the proper way that I should have done this or not, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring this one over here and bring this one around here. Okay. And around. And now we're going to just pinch that one in here. Pinch that one in. And... It's got a little bit small here. Yeah, got, this one got a little bit distorted, but that's okay. It's just, you get the idea, whoops, of where we're going with it. So we're gonna fix the nose a little bit. So these are like little, <laughs> they're funny, little birds. And then the idea, I guess, for the ring is you would have to, um, this is a little soft for the, because you could put this one all the way around your finger, but let's just get a seat because I could also attach it to a separate band, but just for the sake of doing it simply, let's just bring it on here. Bye, Mustafa. Thanks so much for, for uh, hopping on, eh? I know you're very busy and good luck with your test. Yeah, how much wire do you give yourself to work with when you're starting with one of these designs? I usually give myself more than I need. Like, I think I cut this one about 12 inches, but you're always better to cut it too long than too short. So now what I've done is I've kind of doubled up the band here. Otherwise, it's going to be like super soft. So now if we do this and just bring this one around here, 
Let's see what we can do with this. So if we just bring this one all the way around here, bring that one, line them up. Yeah, this wire is very soft, unfortunately, because I wouldn't have to go around so many times if it wasn't so soft. But let's just try this because you could just like, there's two things you could do. You could either like finish it on either side or say you wanted to try like the method I do for the rings to make and sell. Let's just try it that way just to see what it's like. So we're gonna get a separate band. Uh, Heather, have you ever made a moose? Yes, I've definitely made moose. I used to make a lot of animal jewelry for um, when I was selling to stores. So I would, uh, I, I was, uh, had a bunch of contracts with gallery shops across Canada. And I used to make a lot of like animal earrings and pendants and things that was sort of like my trademark was doing this, these type of animal things. I don't do as many anymore. Like I have a few uh, in my Etsy shop of the animals, but uh, not so much anymore. But I definitely did moose uh, and as earrings, bookmarks and uh, pins. I do the reindeers, which are really super sweet as well. And uh, oh yeah, I think I've done almost <laughs> almost every kind of animal possible. Yeah, and I get a lot of custom requests for different things too, which is super fun. So now we're gonna just bend this one up here to see if this is going to work. And then bend this one up on this side. But what we would have to do for this would be to make some like little loops or something. So let me just see the best way to do this. Maybe just make a little loop up like this. This is just one way you can finish it. There are other ways that you can finish it, but I'm just going to try it this way to have a separate band to see what it's to see what it's like. So, hi Zaina. So now we're going to come around here. Uh Al Ayla says any tips on incorporating small large beads? Yes. Yeah, I do a lot of designs with beads. Uh, sometimes I put like a little bead for the eye or um just other details and stuff. So um, yeah, you can definitely have a little a little look through some of the tutorials because we've I've done a lot with beads and the beads are really pretty. We even did the 10 day bead soup challenge, which was super fun uh, where uh, they were all like beaded designs. That was that was a lot of fun. That was last, I think that was last year. I've lost track. So now these are the loops. So now we can just put these loops up sideways a little bit so they don't take up too much room this one too see how these are going to work and then you might want to round it out a little bit more and just bring this one around here and then the idea would be if we just take the bird and then just put them through here and then just put this one through the other side i'm just going to get this one in here and uh, this is tricky to get it in here. So there, and then this one. Get in there, you. Okay, we're just gonna fight with this one a little bit. So that would be the idea. We'll just stick it in either side. We'll see how it works. And then we're just going to wind this one around here. So either you can just make the band out of the same wire that the birds are made out of, or you can do this where you put a separate band. So there's really many different ways that you can finish this. So we're just gonna bring this one up here. Stella Wong says, very happy to see that many things. Okay, so been looking for good resources to learn about wire jewelry. Yay, awesome. Yeah, well, definitely I have tons of tutorials here and then often I take requests. So if you guys are looking for a specific design or something like a specific type of you know tutorial I'm very open to trying new things and uh, and if I don't have time for the tutorial sometimes I'll just draw the design out and I found that's been uh, really helpful for people because I don't have time to do all the special requests but I can draw the I could draw the designs out so you guys can know how to do them yourself so that's fun so now how often do you live stream? I live stream every Wednesday, usually at around one o'clock. So yeah, you can find me every Wednesday here for sure. So now we're just gonna bring this one here. So here's our, it's kind of funky, like the finish is not the best, but there's there are the little birdies on the wire. I think those ones are really cute. I like those ones. Fun. 
So now I'm just going to have a little sip of water and just look at the designs again. Maybe I won't do the um, the owls now. Maybe I'll do the maybe I'll do the cupcake. Let's do the cupcake. And I'm just going to take my sweater off because I am very warm. There we go. Sweet birds, thank you. I'm looking for lovebirds. Nice. Love them. Thank you, guys. And so let us... <sighs> okay. Oh, and the guitar is cute, too. Oh, my goodness. There's so many cute ones, guys. Let's do the guitar first, and then we'll do the cupcake. And that should be good for today. And then I'm going to have to uh, catch up and do some other things another day. So let's get... Let's do the... Let's do the... Um, uh, gold color. So let's do the gold color. Yeah, and the cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I can follow your templates, but no way my eye knows how to draw. <laughs> yeah. And you can also get like clip art and images on Google and, and things like that that you can trace as well. So if you can't draw, there's always solutions. So now let's do the, let's do the um, guitar. So we have done guitars for some of the uh, challenges. We did a little beaded figure with the guitar, which was super cute. So what I like to do for the guitar is I just bend the end and do like the little circle. Mary says, love your work. I'd love to see the bee. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do the bee. Not today, but I'll definitely do the bee. So uh, we'll be doing another live stream next week for the rings and whatever I don't get done today I'll, I'll work on uh, next week and also um, I can maybe in between time I might get a few things made as well so we'll see we'll see what we can do about that so now for the guitar I think I might have cut this a little bit small but we're gonna see so I usually just go up a few times around there and then around and then around here so this is just the shape of the guitar I'm bringing it a little bigger maybe I probably should have cut the wire a little longer I did I actually didn't need to start that far from the end and then we're going to bring it around here and then the guitar is very easy so we're going to bring it this way and around this way that way and then that way so there's the shape of the guitar. You could bring this one in a little bit and then bring it all the way up to the top. Yeah, the shape's not the best, but that's the idea. Uh, copper or gold wire. This is a this is a gold colored copper wire. This is actually, I ran out of the artistic wire, so this is some para wire that I have. Um, I don't love the color. It's more of an antique gold, but um, but if you like antique gold, it's it's really nice. So, um, yeah, so this is the Parawire um, gold colored, I think it's called faux gold or something. There it is, faux gold. That's what it's called. So, um, yeah, but it is copper. It's just colored gold. So now we're going to take that and let's clip the end. Hi, Tish. Nice to see you. I will see Tish in the regular comments, but it's nice to see you on the live stream. There we go. So now... So that's that. Yeah, my shape of the guitar is a little bit wonky, but that's the idea. So it goes like that. And then to make the ring, uh, you can actually do it with the same, you could do it with the same wire. You can add a separate wire like we did in the other one, or if you want to do it uh, like this, but you might want to do like a little a little loop thing at the end just to differentiate the end of the of the guitar so if we do something like that and then we're going to bring this one around so why don't we just use this to make the band if there's enough if there's enough wire and then we're going to just loop it or bend it around a little bit we can kind of get our pliers and just kind of bend it around a little bit to curve it we just want to curve it around and sparkle by monica hello uh, my internet must be buffering. It keeps getting stuck. Hmm. Yeah, internet is funny that way. A guitar, yes, yes. Guitar is amazing. Thank you, Mary. So now, if we're going to do it with the same wire, you could do it in the other way and add a 
18 gauge wire for the band if you want. If you want a thicker band, just clip that and add a separate band uh, like we did the other some of the other ones. But otherwise, you can just take this, bring it around. This is going to maybe be a little bit thin, but we're going to just bring it around here and then just lift this up, bring it in here. Okay. And oopsies and just take this and bring it around. So this is a very simple way to make the guitar ring. And then we're going to give that a little tug, clip it, and then bring that one in here. So now you can put it back on the ring mandrel. I usually like to put it back on and adjust it. And there you have your guitar ring, which is super, super cool. So let's do one more, guys. Let's do the cupcake. So, so cute. Thank you. So different ways to do a cupcake. I'm just going to grab a sip of water. So why don't we just try some? Um, this is... Let's try. I have a bit of the pair of wire left in the silver. I'm really low on wire. I definitely have to order... So now, if we take this and cut it to about, I don't know, 10 inches or something, a few ways we can do this. This one looks like one of those poop emojis, but cupcakes kind of look like that too, or like this. Um, I think I made earrings like this before, but I couldn't find them on my channel. I don't, I don't think I made them as a tutorial, but I've definitely made some like that before. So what maybe you could do to represent the base of the cupcake thing is purchase the Etsy to uh, awesome that's fantastic Andrea so let me know if you have any issues downloading the course um, that's the wire art course that I have on Etsy and I um, it has uh, eight I think eight private tutorials and a bunch of other templates and things like that too. So that's that's an older course that I made quite a, quite a long time ago. But there's lots of really uh, valuable content in there and um, some unique techniques. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to bring this one up. And we're going to go up and down with this to make sort of the base of the cupcake. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what it's going to look like. So we're going to bring go down and up and then down see if we can get it lined up we might have to pinch those ends a little bit down and up these also might be a little bit um might be a little bit big so down and up And maybe down again. So let's see how that's going to work. I can start over if it's not going to work. But that would be the idea, like to do sort of like a cupcake base like that. But I'm not sure this is going to work well or not. So we're going to see. I'm going to get this. You can make everything look, look so easy. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, it's, um, it's easy, but it doesn't always work out as planned. So... So that's the thing. That's the fun thing about these live streams is I never know if things are going to work or not. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But, you know, you always learn something. So even if it doesn't work, you still learn something. So like this right now doesn't really look like a cupcake um, base, but we're trying it. So and then I'm saving you guys a step because if it doesn't work and we figure it out on the live stream, then that's great. So now... Doesn't really look like much, but this is sort of the idea. Say we did something like around here. I'll, I'll definitely try another one because this is not working as planned. And also this pair of wire is very soft. So that's a bit of a drag. So now if we bring this one up, you could also do this with separate wires too. And then it just looks like we can just do something like a back and forth thing. So let's get these ones and back and then this has to get a little smaller as we go up and that way and then it would be cool if you did like a little cherry or something on top but the thing is how do you get it to hold t 
together. That's that's the issue, is to actually get it to hold together. This is sort of interesting, but I'm not quite sure this is how I want it to look, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna bring this one in here, and it's this side that I would want to like hold in place as well, because otherwise it's going to um, come apart. So what if we just like bring this one around here and maybe bring this one up and around. I'm gonna see, cause you just want it, you want it to be attached in some way that it's not gonna come apart. So if I attach it this way, it might work. And um, let's just bring this one up here and then just bring this one around here to see if it's going to work. And, hi Karina. There we go, make a frame. A frame is a good idea too. Yeah, that's a, actually that's a good way to get things to hold together is to make a frame. So let's get a, let's get a um, bead for the cherry on top. So we can put like a little, that one's a little, ooh, that's a little big. So let's get, I also have like a hot pink one that might be good. So if we put like a hot pink cherry on there, it's, it's a little wonky, but let's just try that. So I am going to clip that end and just bring this one in. Perfect. And just get that one to in there. Maybe you can just like bend it over or something. Anyways, this is like a start. This is not the best cupcake in the world, but it's sort of a bit of a start. And then this one, I think you'd have to bend that over a bit. Oh yeah, this is not super working out, but this is sort of like a, a first attempt at the cupcake. It's very abstract. Um, not loving it, but there's one idea. So let's try that one. And then let's try like a spiral thing and maybe that one too. So there's this one. You like the cupcake. Thank you. Um, two millimeter. The bead is a four millimeter is if that's the question. I'm just going to grab some water and then now I'm going to try again, a cupcake. Maybe I'll get some different wire. I'm going to see if I have some rose gold wire. Um, I have this bag of 20 gauge that I'm going to look at. Oh, no. This is maybe a little too bright. That's what I use to make the flamingos. That's the 20 gauge. I also found some more yellow wire, which would have been good for the pineapple. So maybe I'll use that another time for the pineapple and I found this one that could work for the pineapple too which is a softer wire so that's good oh and then I have this is what I was looking for the rose gold so let's make a cupcake with that one and hi Yvonne hello hola so now let's try to do something with this one and see what we could do and maybe make it quite simple so I'm going to cut a piece of this it's got a little bit kinked at the bottom, so I'm just going to use a cloth and just straighten it out a little bit, which means not a cloth. I'm actually using my shirt because, you know, that's what we do. And we're going to just straighten that out a little bit. Okay. And then now let's see what we can do about a simpler cupcake. So... I am going to take these and bring that one up and then curve this one a bit and then bring it up that way. Okay. And then we can, I think it'd be cool if it was like a little crisscrossy across here, but let's just see if we took this and just did, okay, we're gonna bring this one down. Does the color come off? No, the color is uh, pretty permanent. Uh, this is like the permanently colored tarnish resistant uh, copper wire from Artistic Wire. And I've never had a problem with the color coming off. 
So, uh, yeah, the wires they make now are really nice quality, which is great. And uh, I like the artistic wire. I just, I just find, um, I like the colors. I like the way it works. So now this would be like sort of an idea for the cupcake. And what if we just bend that one that way? And then, because we need it to hold together. That's the thing. So if we bring this one across here, might or might not work. We could also do this with separate wires. We could definitely do that. Um, but for the cupcake itself, let me just get a pencil because like the question is like, how do you do this type of thing? Like if you do this one and then like this one sort of, it's like, it's like they sort of like go around like that type of thing. And then that way, and then sort of this way like that. So you almost, yeah, I'm just trying to think the best way to do that. Could go that way and then that way. Yeah, that way and that way. Hmm. Yeah, it's tricky doing that. But let's just see what we can do with this. I'm going to get my round pliers. The cupcake was cute. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hi, Diane, how are you? So now, I like it, thank you. Um, but yes, I always have marking pens around to touch up any scratches. Oh, that's an idea too. Yep, that's a good idea. Uh, so now we're going to bring this one. Let's just see what we can do this one. So we could do this one around here. I'm just gonna try this and that one that way. And that one that way. So what if we, uh, just looking at this, so we bring this one in and out and that one this way and around here and then that one that way. Yeah, this is not working out the best like that. I think crossing back and forth isn't the best bet. I did like that way of doing it. I thought that was cute. So maybe we can just do it that way instead. Let's just go back to that root and see how it looks. And then just go this way. Yeah, I think that I think the cupcakes definitely need a little bit of practice. But I like the idea. You can even do like just a circle for the for the um cherry on top that might be cute just like a little that's kind of cute it looks a bit like a coffee cup uh, but what if we did like this type of thing and then this like bring this one in a little bit but the thing is I don't know if I want to go back and forth on itself or not so uh maybe okay I'm gonna bring that one here and then this one in here and down this way because the thing is you really have to secure the wires in place especially for a ring so they don't come out like come out of uh, place uh you d says you make wire wrapping so much fun oh thank you no there we go perfect so it's cute thank you so it's kind of cute with that there's maybe too much icing on it now but that's the idea, but except I think it's looking a little bit too much like a, um, a coffee cup for some reason, and I'm not quite sure why, but the other thing we can do, like here, I can just maybe finish this off for now, just to, just so the ends are finished. So if we take this end and just bring it around here, okay, we're just gonna bring this one around here. And I will clip that one and then this one too you just the thing is you have to finish it right so if we just finish that one over here I guess because you have to not have any little rough ends so we're just going to take that one and I will clip this one uh cat yes <laughs> Hey cat, how you doing? Nice to see you. So now we are going to take this clip and push the end in. 
So this is a little bit of a wobbly cupcake. A little bit wobbly, yep, definitely a little bit wobbly. Um, not sure about this one, looks like a coffee cup. So far this one looks good. I'm just going to get a sip of water. It's cute, thank you. Okay, so now let's just try one other option for the, maybe we could do two separate wires. Why don't we try that? So if we get a separate wire for the base, I'm going to cut a piece of the 20 gauge. That might be interesting. Uh, so if we cut a piece of the 20 gauge, I really, I quite like how that looks too. I think it's interesting. And so what if we just took this and went back and forth with that. So we're gonna come here and, okay, so we're gonna do that one. And this one up a little. And then that one down. I'm just gonna go back and forth like we did on the first one and see how it's going to look. So we're gonna bring this one down and this one up and this one down. So maybe four. I mean, I, I prefer to do uneven uh, measurements, like uneven amounts of like lines type of thing, but I don't also don't want it to get too big because it's uh, it's for a ring, so you don't want it too big. So this would be like sort of a starting point, like this, and then we need to find a way to finish it. Uh, so why don't we? Wonder if these should be like pushed that way so they're. See what I mean? Like they're like they're more pointy that way. Or maybe we'll just pinch them in. So maybe we can just pinch them in. Uh, Katie says, how often do you do your live shows? I do them every Wednesday, uh, usually around 1 o'clock. And um, every now and then I do another live stream called Let's Get Wired. And that one's fun where we do... Uh, we make stuff together. So maybe I'll do one in the next couple of weeks of Let's Get Wired. So what I usually do for that is I make the templates and I post them and then you guys can make stuff at the same time that I do. And that's super fun. And then you can share pictures and I show them on the live stream. Hi, Paula. There we go. So now this is like the cupcake, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'm gonna do five. Uh, this is the cupcake holder, so I'm going to do five, just because I, I really prefer odd numbers for design. It just seems more, I don't know, balanced or something. So we're going to bring that one in. So now we have five, but the question now is how are we going to put this together so it actually looks like something? So this... Yeah, maybe five is too much now. Now now I'm like, five is too much. Yeah, maybe five is too much. But the thing is, how are we going to put this together so it actually looks like anything? So now, let me just see. I'm going to bring this one down. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Mm, not loving that. So I'm going to leave that one for now. I'm going to try something else and get another piece of the 20 gauge wire. I think I'm going to try one that's a little more like uh, crinkled, like, like this one. So let me just move those and I'm going to try something different and we'll see how this one works. Uh, I think it's a different one need like this. Let's get wired. Uh, yeah, so the Let's Get Wired is just like these live streams, except you guys can make stuff at the same time I do, because I'll tell you in advance what you need and I'll give you the templates and we can work at the same time. And those are super fun. And I was using Discord before to share for people to share their photos. But the trouble with Discord is um, it's not a very user-friendly app. So I'm experimenting with something called Slack now. And uh, I don't have the invitation offhand, but you can join the Slack group. I'll put it in the community section. And when we do the Let's Get Wired things, uh, you guys can all share like photos of what you're working on. 
Uh, and that's super fun because then in real time, we can see what each other are working on. So that's, that's fun. I did a few of those before, uh, on this channel. Yes. Thanks, Amber. Yeah. So the, the let's get wired are on this channel and I usually do them on the weekend, like a, a Sunday at noon or something like that. I just find more people are available. So now experimenting with just doing this type of thing for the cupcake. Although this, I'm not sure this is working either. <laughs> we're going to see. We're going to see. And then what I would want to do is do lines going down there. So let's just see what we can do with that. We're going to bring this one across. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to see. Maybe I need a thinner. I need a thinner. Um, uh, pliers so we're going to bring this one this way and then this one this way so the idea for this was you need like the little cross little cross things for the for the cupcake like the little lines of the cupcake things so I don't know how well this is going to work but we're just going to try it looks a little bit like a tulip but that's okay so we're going to bring this one down here it's not too bad and then, um, hmm, let's see what we're going to do with this. Bring this one around here. And then it like, kind of looks like a cupcake thing. But now we have to finish these ends. That's, that's the trouble with these, with these designs is knowing where to finish the ends so it actually looks uh, somewhat... Uh, symmetrical so let's just bring this one down here and I'm gonna clip this hi Debbie oh and hi Huda telegram channel yeah I've heard about telegram uh, but that too I I tried it and I didn't find it super user-friendly but I definitely have heard about telegram as well it's very similar to um, I think it's very similar to discord and to slack but I know people that use Telegram instead of Facebook. They use it as um, uh, like a messaging thing. So now, so there's this part. And then we have to kind of finish this end too. So I'm just going to bend this end over. And this will just be like a temporary, <laughs> an idea, a temporary idea for the for the cupcakes. And I'll work, I'll work on them as well. So this could be like the base of the cupcake. But then let's get some, let's get some pink wire maybe we can even use a bright pink wire uh gotta run my daughter's house okay cool nice to see you debbie so now let us cut this and see what we're going to do for that so now you can you can either do it like back and forth like that or we can do the wire a different way but the idea would be you want to like attach it so we'd have to attach it here and bring it in here and just give it a little pinch and this is definitely a work in progress guys so I'll definitely see what I can do after the fact and try to try to perfect this design a little bit because I'm definitely struggling here with the cupcake yeah that's for sure and then for this we can like bring it let's bring it across because probably what it's going to be better to do is just like attach it first so let's just bring this one across. We're just going to give it a big like loop here. Okay, we're just going to like make it nice and wide. Bring this one in. And whoa, okay, we're going to get this one in here. Reminds me of my little niece when she was telling a good story she always had. And then, <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's funny. I, th I think I, I think I say that a lot too. Yeah. Okay. So there we, we're going to bring this one in here and there we're going to bring this one over a little bit on an angle. I think I need my round pliers. Perfect. And let's just bring this one over here. So this would be sort of the starting of like the cupcake thing. We're going to bring this one in here. I kind of like the idea though of doing two separate wires. I think it's cool. So it's just a matter of like, how are we going to get them to stay in place? Because 
This one needs to be pinched a little bit more, I think. If we just get this one and pinch it a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna get that one in there. And then, so we have like the starting point of the cupcake. And we're gonna have to pinch this one a little bit more too. So, yeah, the pink is nice, eh? It's like a fuchsia color. Yeah, I really like it. So now we are going to, instead of going back and forth, I think we're just going to, I like the idea of doing like the curve thing. So let me just bring this, maybe this should have come to the front. So if we, what if we just curve it around? I like that idea of doing like the curve thing, like just curling it around, around here. It's kind of interesting. It looks a little springy. We're gonna bring this one around. But I also like the idea of having like some, like a little cherry on top or something, but we could maybe add that with something else. But this is coming along sort of. Uh, but the thing is, I think we're going to, I don't know if we could like get it to come up into like a point like they do with cupcakes. We can try it and then just bend it back Okay, if you doubled up the wire first and then wrap. Hmm, not quite sure what you mean, but if ever you guys, you know, see something that could use improvement and you want to send me a pic or something, definitely, definitely do that because sometimes it's hard to say, this isn't bad, I don't mind that little pointy bit. And then what you need to do though is also like bring this back down and attach it so it's not so wobbly, I think. So we can just bring this one down here. We can even like loop it around again if we want. We're gonna have a lot of wire here. And then just bring it down here because we wanna we wanna attach it in place again. So we're just gonna bring it down here, through here. But then we haven't turned these into rings yet. So now we're gonna have to turn it into the rings. Uh, a bead for the cherry. Yeah, I think a bead would be super cute for the cherry. I did that on this one, but this one I just am using the wires. So, but I do like that. I do like that idea of the the cherry bead. I think that's uh, it's really cute. It adds adds a little bit of something. So now let's just get this one pinched in and let's make it into a ring. So it's kind of cool. It's Definitely looks more like a cupcake than some of the previous ones. Uh, we can pinch these a little bit more in to the base to get it like sticking in a little bit. So we've got that one, we've got that one, and we've got this one that was a little bit of a dud. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. This one looks more delicious. Yeah, it actually looks yummy, eh? So now let's try to find how we could do the ring band. So here's just some 18 gauge wire. And I am going to wind it around here. And then I will show you guys what we have done. So now I'm gonna bring this one up here, up at a bit of an angle. And then this one too, we should have a bit of distance in between these. And it's very cute, thank you. Okay, so now we have to stick this, I guess, in here for it to stay um, as a ring. We just, it might fall down a little bit. That's the only problem, unless we would be better to go up in here. That's the trouble is finding a way to get it to sit as a ring and not like fall out of place. I think it's, we're gonna be better to do it up here um, only because it's gonna like go up and down if we put it down there. So now let's just take this, bring this one around this one too, bring this one around, and we are gonna remove it so we can give, tug it a little bit tighter. So let's just take this one and we're gonna make it a little bit tighter. Uh, get in there. Yeah, kind of tug it as tightly as you can. Give it a little pinch, give it a little clip. Okay, and then bring this one Oops, did it come and cut it a little too short? It's a little too short. It's okay, so we're gonna bring that one in here. And then this one too, yeah, see it's it's shifting a little bit, but you can just decide where's the best place to, um, to put it in for the ring. 
And then we're going to clip that one. Pipea says, love them. Thank you. It looks yummy. Mm, yeah, that, that wire is yummy, eh? That uh, pink wire, it's really, really luscious. So now we're going to push that one in there. So there, this one moved a little bit. We're going to bring this down. Let me just, I'm going to fix this one because it came out. It didn't go in both of the wires. So, whoops, sorry, guys. So now we're going to bend this one up. Okay, and make sure we can bend it in a way it goes around both wires. So if it wasn't going around both wires. So now we're going to bring it here. Close that one up. Close it there. It's got a little wonky there. Push it in. There we go. Perfect. There. So at least it's in both of the wires now. So that sits a little bit better. So it's not bad. This one turned out all right. And so these ones, I'm not going to bother putting them on a ring. They're a little more fragile, but this one's quite cute. So it's a little large, but it's interesting. So guys, let's see what we did today. So we did the cupcake, we did the monkey, okay, we did the monkey, we did, we did cute things, Amber, we did the birdies, I like the birdies actually, I really like the birdies, I think they're super cute, and we did giraffe, wow, we did more than I thought, and we did the guitar, and we did a pineapple, which I'm going to remake because it looks very wonky. So guys, let me know in the comments which is your favorite. I'm going to remake the pineapple and the monkey. I'm going to give monkey some ears. And then I'll post uh, pictures in the community section. And monkey and the bird, says Amber. And the giraffe. Okay, Amber likes all the, all the animals. So let me flip the screen. And there we go. Matt, this is awesome. Thank you. So guys, that's it. We made it. We did it. Cupcakes to favorite for Pipea. Nice. I missed them all. Be able to. Yes, you can watch the replay. No problem at all. And um, I love the pineapples and the guitar. Cool. Nice. Monkeys with the ears. Yeah, we're going to do some ears on the monkey for sure. And then next week we'll do more rings on the live stream. And also, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just give me any feedback. If you have any ideas for the designs, if you want to send pictures, you can email to info at heatherboydwire.com or post in the Wire Makers Club. Pamela likes the guitar. Cool. And, uh, and we'll see you guys next week uh, and before as well. Have an amazing week. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you, Clarice and Amber, for all your help on the live stream. And we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.